Man, I must be getting old. Every time I see a video made by some kid, all they do is complain. Check this out. <laughs> Boomer's always out here talking about how my generation needs to get a job and stop eating avocado toast. But here I am, a gajillion dollars in debt for a stupid degree. But I've applied to a thousand jobs in my field and nobody is offering me two hundred thousand dollars a year. Ugh, I'll never be able to afford a house. When you dumb boomers were my age, college cost like five dollars and they all bought houses on a year's salary. Everything was so easy for them. Wah, wah, wah. I don't know, she's not entirely wrong. A lot of young people are saddled with a huge amount of debt for college degrees that probably won't help them get a job that pays anything close to what they think they're gonna make. And after the last three years of out of control inflation, our cost of living has gone up by almost 19%. But then both the cost of college and average consumer prices are a direct consequence of the government handing out trillions of dollars in loans, grants, and stimulus packages. Yeah, but come on. It's always been tough for people just starting out. And honestly, most of these influencers live with a lot of luxuries that almost no one could afford 20 to 30 years ago. Influencers are the worst. And some of the complaints you hear from them aren't true or they're comparing totally different things. For example, in 1950, the median price of a new home was about $80,000 in 2020 money. But today, the median price of a new home is over 416K. Ouch. That's a huge increase. But there are two things people usually leave out of that story. Firstly, governments at all levels have created a ton of mandates, zoning rules, building requirements, and licensing restrictions that didn't exist in the 50s. And as a result, new constructions haven't come close to outpacing population growth for years. Then, decades of government printing trillions of dollars and funneling it into the housing market has also played a huge role in increasing the price of housing. But on top of that, we're talking about totally different kinds of houses. Over the same time period, the average size of a single family home went from about 1,000 square feet to 2,600 square feet. New homes are also significantly safer, better insulated, more fireproof, and are full of appliances and amenities that literally didn't even exist. Plus, isn't the median skewed by a few major cities? Exactly. California being completely out of control alters the average for everyone else. But the really big lie here is about income. In the 1950s, the median individual income for men was about 33k a year in today's dollars. A lot of people on TikTok are happy to tell you they're now paid less than individuals were back then, but the median income for people today is over 25% more than that adjusted for inflation. A lot of us are way worse off economically than we were in 2019. There's no question there. But are we worse off than we were in the 70s? No. Let's look at the people and policies that ruined everything over the last four years before we start chasing down broader systemic issues. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Share this around with your friends. Help the channel grow. It's a little poem I wrote.